What is everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links video. Today we're going to be doing a quick video on some card trader inventory that's just been updated. This card trader inventory is kind of interesting to me, but I will see if it will be relevant in the meta. Probably not, but let's get on to it. So first of all, we have a copy of Magic Deflector. At least this is one of the new cards that's just been added. It's a trap card, and the effect is for the rest of this turn, negate all equips... Quip? Field, Continuous, and Quick Play Spell Cards effects on the field. So this is a temporary, just stop it, all of those traps on the field, not traps, spells on the field. Very nice. Um, this card's pretty cool. I feel like this could be really useful in certain situations, but since I just don't see much people playing it, but it is a really cool card. Another card I don't see much people playing, but who knows, I'm not an expert on Yu-Gi-Oh! or anything like that, but it's this card called Where Art Thou? It's a spell card, and the effect is, if you control one face of level 1 monster, add one level 1 monster from your deck to your hand. During the end phase of this turn, take 2,000 damage if you did not normal summon it. Normal summon the added monster or a card with the same name ac after activating this card. So, this spell is pretty interesting. Um, the only time that I used this card was when I ran, uh, ran a Blue Eyes deck in real life. Because um, all Blue Eyes, like, tuners are level 1. So, that's kind of cool. But, like, right now, I don't see the use of this. If anybody knows any, like, potential combos with Where Art Thou, put it in the comment section down below. It would be pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, next up, we have a card that I recognize, and I like this card a lot. It's a, it's called Featherizer. Don't know how to pronounce it, but I think that's how you pronounce it, Featherizer. It's a win two-star monster spellcaster with the effect. When this card is destroyed by balance, since it's a graveyard, you can send one Gemini monster from your deck to your graveyard and draw one card. Very nice. This will help out Gemini's a lot. I don't think it will make it relevant um, in the game still, but this is a really nice support for Gemini's, that's for sure. If you can run three copies of these, that would be amazing because you get to, when it's destroyed, you mill one of your Gemini's into the grave. And then you can draw a card. Combos with this is like, um, if you're running Blazewing Butterfly, you can send like something like a Phoenix Gear Free to the graveyard. It's a 2800 Gemini. You can summon Blazewing Butterfly, double summon it somehow by using like Supervise or or um, using the, or just skidding it and summon again. You can tribute off Blazewing to summon Phoenix Gear Freed. A lot of combos, a lot of potential. I might get some copies of Feather Riser at some point. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And then next up, we have something called Doom Shaman. This is a Spellcaster Gemini with the effect. Um, once per turn, you can special summon one uh, Fiend Time Monster from your hand or either or either graveyard. So that means both players' graveyard. When this card leaves the field, destroy all Fiend Time Monsters, special summon by this effect. Very nice card. If you're running, if you want to run a Gemini Fusion, or not Fusion, Gemini dark or fiend there you go here's a nice card i could buy this card but i think i'm going to save my ultra super rare coins just for feather riser because i'm thinking of a deck idea right now um with that one that i was talking about the combo but that's pretty much it for this card trader thing nothing too crazy a couple other things i can just um talk about real quick is that they're fixing some card issues if your game's on 1.9 hazy flame phoenix is fixed i'm probably gonna do a deck showcase on this because I wanted to do a Hazy Flame um, deck showcase, but it didn't work out too well because the freaking Dex just was broken at the time. And then also the bonus board campaign is happening right now, so that means we get a 1,000. Oh, wait, maximum reward not exceed even if you score higher than 8,000 points. Oof. But, yeah, there's the 10,000 assessment points, which is really nice. That's going to help out too. And then um, on 11th, all these cards are going away, so if you want to get any of these cards real quick, you would want to do them now. But that's going to be it for today's Duelings video. If you guys did enjoy this informational video, be sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelings content. See you guys later. Goodbye. Adios.